A North Liberty Elementary School is taking a new path this year to try to address the social emotional needs of students. That's especially a challenge for some students from the pandemic. Yeah, to KCRG TV 9's Taylor Holt shows us this new tool that they're using to make sure students succeed beyond academics. Nine-year-old Brooke Kavanaugh is a fan of Christine Grant Elementary School's new movement and sensory path. So are parents like Amy Schultz after a trying past school year. Definitely a little nervous to be sending, you know, going back full, full time. She has two kids at the school. We um, were fully online last year, which was definitely its own barrel of monkeys. But now we are incredibly excited to be back. And a focus on social emotional learning will be key to making sure students succeed in the new school year that starts Monday. I think that the best way for us to go about doing it or handling it is by, you know, tackling these emotions head on, you know, not trying to brush them under the rug. The path is designed to navigate students' cognitive skills while managing emotions and stress. Schultz was part of a group of parents who helped create it with money from a grant. And we talked about what elements to include, what types of motions would be best, and we were able to come up together as a team what, um, you know, we thought would most benefit the kids. The school's principal says the addition is connected to their core curriculum. A lot of what we want to do is have those times during the day where students are able to come out, access the path. Uh, we have timers as well. Turnus says it's just one part of how they're trying to tackle social emotional learning. Uh, similar to calming corners, chill zones that we're incorporating into our classrooms this year as well. It's okay to take small breaks for your mental health. Like, this is as equally important as what you are learning in your classroom. In North Liberty, Taylor Holt, KCRG TV9 News.